how many times do you hear that sealed boxes are for sound quality and ported boxes are louder? And that's essentially how you want to make your choice. Well, I actually disagree. What if we moved this louder over to sealed boxes? Yes, stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little bit about this and about how a sealed box for about the same overall cost with a sealed box and sub subs versus ported box may actually be a better option. Okay, so as an example, I pulled up some enclosure specifications for the Sundown Audio, the SA Classic 12. We can see right here that the 12 wants one cubic foot for a sealed and 1.75 cubic foot for a ported. The 10 wants half a cube for sealed and one cubic foot for ported. So I'm going to use for a moment this 12 and we'll talk a little bit about this. Okay, so let's pretend for a moment. There's your sealed box. And the ported, once again, it's going to be significantly bigger. There's your ported box. And then you also have the port on there. The port is typically about a third of the box size. So this turns out to be about two and a half cubic feet internal space with for the port and uh, the box. Two and a half cubic feet. And it was one cubic feet for just a single uh, sealed 12. So why don't we instead run two sealed 12s? It'll still be a little bit smaller than one sealed 12 and ported. Now I know you went, hold on, I thought we were talking about for the same cost, and we are, um, because you don't have to get two 750 watt subs. You can get um, a 750 watt sub ported or you could get two smaller subs that cost less maybe the e series or the lcs series that equal about the same power as your 12 and they're about half the cost so you end up with twice the cone area now if you've been around car audio for a while you've heard cone is king cone area is king and the reason behind that is because if you double the amount of cone area, then you end up with three decibel gain. Now, this doesn't always work out. Sometimes you end up with a little bit less than three decibels. Sometimes you end up with a little bit more. Um, but I've tested this, and it's pretty close to a three decibel gain, um, unless it's like some unusual circumstances. But you gain about three dB just by doubling the cone area. And this is, let's say we had a thousand watt amp. That's how many watts we've got. We have a thousand watt amp for the one, or a thousand watt amp pushing the two. So you got five hundred here for each, or thousand for this. Guess what? you still get a 3 dB gain. You do not need more power. So let me show you what a response curve ends up looking like in this scenario that we're talking about. So I'm going to do blue. This will be sealed. Okay. That's, that's a pretty typical response curve. And now I'm going to do, this is sealed with one, 112, by the way. Now I'm going to do a ported, pretty typical response curve for a ported with 112. Okay. And this is kind of the extra, let's say you're tuned right here. looks about, we're tuned about 30 hertz. And all this is extra dB. You get three to six more dB by porting a box, which is why everyone always says it's louder. And it is over this this uh, this range, and in this case, it's usually about uh, um, maybe about 15. So typically, 
you'd be about maybe 15 hertz in that range that you'd be louder. However, if we look at a uh, sealed box with two 12s, you have that 3 dB gain, and it follows the same curve as the single. Try to draw it about right. Uh, tried to draw it so it followed the blue line, but it's 3 dB louder. There is a small range right in here where you will be louder with ported. It, be, it becomes really small. It's like maybe right around tuning, so maybe 5, maybe 6, 7 hertz, where you're actually louder with ported, but it's not much. So typically a ported box is 3 to 6 dB. Now, if this ported box is 3 dB, guess what? It's It actually, at most, it... It uh, is just as loud as the sealed box 212s. Um, I mean, at worst, it's just as loud as the sealed box 212s. At most, you have maybe a little bit. Let me try to draw a little bit more of a bump there. You might have a little bit more of a bump. So you might have another 2 or 3 dB right there. So realistically, going with a, a sealed box and getting... 212s are about half the power, uh, would, would dominate over most frequencies, a larger ported box. Now look at this too. So that was with the 12, but next to that drawing. Okay. That was with the, the, the 12, uh, is one cube for a sealed and it's, it would be with, with the, the extra port about two and a half cubes. Uh, cause you need, you need the port size too. So that, that ends up being pretty massive. You could almost fit three sealed 12s in the same spot, in the same size. Now let's look at the 10. The 10 is even worse. So you've got a cube here. This would be about 1.3 cubes. Like I said, you could do almost three sealed 12, uh, tens and the space would take you to do one ported 10. Um, Another option that you have too is is if you've got a thousand watt, uh, looks like you're you're shooting for a thousand watt. In fact, let me go up and look at real quick there. I'm gonna go down to their um, I'm not seeing it. Their SA. I guess it's under SA series, but I was looking at the SAV2. Okay, SAV2s. So what you could do is instead of going with a single 12, you could maybe fit a single 15 or a single 18. So now you're just you're basically just using a larger sub once again. The extra cone area is going to get you that those dBs. So going from 12 to 18, it's about a 3 dB gain in cone area because it's just over double. Uh, 15 would be about 1.5 dB extra. So you could simply increase your cone area size, or you could you could go down to a smaller level sub and do more of them, and you're actually going to be louder over a wider range. And you also keep the sound quality. So one thing to keep in mind is that some of these products, like if you're looking at these subs from Sundown, some of these, these at the very bottom, the Nightshade, the Z, the X, uh, these are, are, these really require a ported box. Some, some subs, especially the, the bigger subs really do require a ported box. They're just not going to perform in a, in a sealed box. So we are talking about obviously subs that can either go in a ported or a sealed box. Uh, anyways, I, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you something to think about. Um, because I think most people are, are confined by space. They're looking at their car. It's a small car and they're trying to fit whatever subs they can in there. And they just go, Oh, ported going to be louder. I'm going to go ported without really realizing the ported is going to take usually about twice the space. Um, like I said, sometimes it, it can take more. Sometimes it might take a little bit less, um, than, you know, a, a single sealed enclosure. Uh, anyways, hope this helps, and um, until next time, cheers!